Hello everybody, this is Navarro and well people have been asking how to download the worlds for Sky Fartry so I'm going to download another one and I'll run you through the process you need the file downloader up and you need this UFO transfer up uh, you can download them off the app store once you've got them you're going to need to go into your settings when it loads in um, down to display and sound then video output and if you go to here if you click on that this one down here make sure it's checked off or one of the apps won't work properly so once you've got the home two apps and change that in your settings you want to open Microsoft Edge and find the map you want to download and once Microsoft Edge open, you want to go to wherever you're downloading your map. I'm on Dan Rob's Probs YouTube channel. That's who I've got Sky Factory off and who I'm getting this clayed under. Um, you want to make sure it's version 2.0, it's the latest one, because the first one doesn't work. Um, so yeah, when you're in here, you want to look for the see more bit. If you open that up, there'll be a link somewhere to the map down here. So if you click on this, and it'll then it'll take you away to this page here. So over here, do not click on the link. What you want to do is press what used to be the start button, the three lines. It'll open this. You can go to copy link. Once you've copied link, that's you're finished in here. So you can close Microsoft Edge or just exit. And the next thing you want to do is go to your apps and open up your file downloader. So once file downloader's open, well yours might not look like this because mine has been open before. But yeah, what you want to do is go up to these three lines, click on that, and then click on from URL. If you click on here, it'll bring up your keyboard, but press B to exit, press start, and it'll let you paste it. So you paste your link in there, click on the download button, make sure you're in local storage first. Yeah, click on the download button and click for start download. Yeah, this doesn't take very long, so it's one of the shorter bits. That's how long it took. And once you've downloaded it, go back to files, click on that. And this time go down to storage and there's what you've just downloaded. But if you click on that, as you see, you can't do anything with it. So what you want to do is select it, go over here, and go to rename. If you rename your file, you'll be able to open it. So what you want to do is take out MC World, and just change it up for zip. Just like so. So yeah, X out of there, click OK. Once you've changed it to that, if you click on it again, you'll be able to open it. And now, when you're in here, you can select all your files. Oh, before you do that, though, you want to go back to here. Yeah, back, back in here. From here, if you click here, you can enter... Well, I'm going to put clay under, because that's the map I'm downloading. But yeah, this will be whatever you want your world called when it comes up. So yeah, clay under, and if you go down to uh, the three dots, click on there, you can click on new folder. But if you go back, yeah, there's the original files. So what you want to do here, if you click here, you can select all, then click that one, and it'll copy them. Go back up to up, open up the file you've just made. And if you click here, it'll paste them in. This step here might take a while, so yeah, here I am back a few minutes later. And as you can see, it's now copied all the files into there. So you can go back and what you want to do is select this down here for copy and that's you finished in this app so we'll need to exit this and load up the next app.
So yeah, go to your apps, go down to the UFO transfer. And this is the one you need to change your settings for, because you'll need to go to the little cog at the corner. If you click on that, and then click on this one here to open in File Explorer. Uh, go along to Packages, uh, Megascope Universal File thing. From there, Local State, open that up, and you can see your map in there. I think it's this one here, even though I've got another one there. So yeah, click down there, and you can now select Clade Under. Once you've cl uh, selected it, go down to Copy. And once you've copied it, you can go back to Packages, Reopen Packages. And now you're looking for Microsoft uh, Minecraft UWP. Then open Local State, Games, Mojang, and this gives you all your Minecraft stuff. So it's a world you're putting in, so you want to be on world when you're hovering over it. If you press the start button, yeah, you'll get that menu, go down to paste, and it'll paste the files in. This doesn't take very long, so yeah. And that should be it done. Next thing you want to do is load in Minecraft. So this is me back in Minecraft. I'll give it a look and see if it works. Thing is with texture packs, uh, resource packs and behaviour packs, it's slightly different to download. So yeah, don't use this video. But yeah, let's go into my maps and see if it's there. Yeah, Clade Under version 2.0. That's one I've just downloaded. This other one's version 1. It doesn't work, so it needs to uh, deleted. Could probably done that before the video, but never mind. So yeah, there's Clay Dunder. I do hope this video is useful to somebody. So this is Navarro saying bye for now.